Hey, what's going on guys? Hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, not going to waste any time. I'm going to get straight into it. If you guys didn't watch yesterday's video, I highly suggest you go watch yesterday's video because it explains everything that's going on. Um, at the time of me recording this, it is November 17th, uh, 4.23 p.m. Arizona time. But um, I record these videos before they go live and I'm also trying to get other videos out the same week. But when something big like this happens, I have to jump on to push out the news to you guys. And I'm trying to get all those put out. So I know they're a little bit late or a little bit behind. And you probably have already seen other people's videos. But again, this is just me relaying the information and stuff. Um, of course, all the stuff that you're going to be able to find will be down in the description. If you want to read the whole article where I found new updates on Bobby Kodak revolving around this walkout <laughs> um if you want to read the whole article you can go ahead and check charlie intel's twitter down below of course i link him all the time because i find all of my stuff from either charlie intel or modern warzone over on twitter they are literally the two best guys to follow if you want to keep up to date with anything call of duty uh i think charlie i uh, know modern warzone or twitter or either modern warzone or uh charlie intel has a halo page as well but that's neither here nor there we're gonna go ahead and get into this um there was a letter that was obtained by the washington post and it was sent by a group of shareholders that own stock share in activision blizzard i'm gonna read this word for word as it's quoted in contrast to past company statements ceo bobby kodak was aware of many incidences or um, aware of many incidents of sexual harassment sexual assault and gender discrimination at activision blizzard but failed either to ensure that the ex executives and managers responsible were terminated or to recognize and address the systematic nature of the company's hostile workplace culture the shareholders led by the strategic organizing center soc investment group stated in their letter they're also threatening to pull back i think i read somewhere that playstation is they also sent in another letter asking for bobby Kodak to resign um there's also new uh a new thing that i i after the video was already uploaded i had already read this and i couldn't put it in the video so i'm putting it in today's there was also a instance where bobby kodak had uh i guess called and harassed a individual some were saying uh a lot of the sources were saying that he threatened to have her killed or assassinated that i don't know it's insane but they did say nonetheless that he did call a female co-worker or employee um and threatened and, and threatened harm to her you don't ever do anything like that. That that should seal your fate enough that you don't need to be a leader, Bobby. <laughs> I think everyone can agree that you have dug the biggest grave for yourself. And you're just digging. As more stuff gets revealed, you just keep digging that hole and burying yourself in it. Because I don't think there's any way possible for you to be able to come back from this. Now, what does this mean for the future of Call of Duty? I don't know. Um, if Bobby Kotick does actually finally resign and a new CEO steps up as CEO of Activision, then, of course, Call of Duty will still be going through. I mean, it's a really big game. A lot of people look forward to it every year. It has many players. It's a very popular game. I don't think it's going to go anywhere um, if someone steps up to be the new CEO. Uh, because I'm sorry, I, I'm personally hoping Bobby Kotick actually resigns. I hope he's gone. But I don't think that the game is going to go anywhere, guys. Um, there, it's way too popular, and I'm pretty sure once, because their shareholders are threatening to pull back. And when your shareholders pull back, you're losing money. You are losing money. You don't ever want to have your shareholders pull back from your project, because that means something bad happened. And obviously something bad happened and Bobby Kotick fails to address the seriousness of this. But 
you know, I'm going to go back and, uh, you know, for people worried about the game, I wouldn't worry too much about the game. I think it's here to stay. Uh, I'm pretty sure once more shareholders threaten to pull back from, uh, you know, their the shares that they have, that they own of Activision, once they pull out of there or threaten to pull out, uh, you know, the board of directors will soon, you know, get kicked in the, you know, it'll light a fire under them to think, oh, maybe Bobby isn't all that important. But, you know, there's another thing coming up here where the letter from the group is also asking for Brian Kelly and Robert Morgado, two of the longest serving board members on the Activision Blizzard board of directors, to retire by December 31st, 2021 and allow new board members to further shape the future of the company. I'm totally for that. I think we totally need a new board of directors team, given that their statement was oh, we still have faith in Bobby Kotick and we still believe that under his leadership we can thrive. No, no, we we can't. We really can't. If he knew about these incidences and these harassment uh, allegations going around and he didn't do anything about it, I'm just saying, I don't think that's a leader. I think that's someone trying to cover up for his friends. You know, petty high school shit. But, you know, <laughs> I think we need to get rid of Bobby Kotick and we need to get new board of directors. So I do think the two uh, longest serving board of directors need to go hire two new ones and get their inputs on it. Uh, there's also another thing saying after the new uh, revelations, and I'm going to read this quote for quote, after the new revelations, it's clear that the current leadership repeatedly failed to uphold a safe workplace, a basic function of their job. Associate Executive Director Dieter Wazenegger, I don't know if I'm saying that right, um, said to the Washington Post, Activision Blizzard needs a new CEO, board chair, and lead independent director with the expertise, skill set, and conviction to truly change the company's culture. We need to really have a reset button on the board. I fully, fully agree with this. Now, apparently Activision doesn't because Activision declined to comment on about the shareholders pulling back and their letter, but had previously claimed that the WSJ or the Wall Street Journal report was quote-unquote false and misleading. I don't know how you can, you know, falsely accuse someone of calling your employee and threatening her to have her killed or whatever you threatened her with um i also don't you know these are just allegations i'm not convicting anyone i'm not a judge uh just want to say that for the record these are just allegations this is just stuff that is being brought up and i'm repeating it from new sources to you guys i also don't know how you can mislead and construe a bunch of co-workers and employees who've had Horrible, horrible things happen to them in the workplace, and their story sticks. I don't know how that can be misleading or false. I think Bobby is trying to save face, and it's not working. He is failing miserably, and I hope to see a new CEO be in charge of Activision. And a new board of directors, one that has actual sense of determining when someone is abusing their power. I'm out of time, guys. But, again, I'll keep covering as more stuff unfolds about this. Uh, this is going to be my last video for the week. But be sure to check back next Monday. I'm probably going to have a bunch of stuff over the weekend to share with you guys. Stay safe. Peace.